What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about A Quiet Place Day 1. We'll be talking about Scream 6 going over an update on that. Kind of a Cliff Notes version basically of what the, of the video I uploaded earlier. We'll be talking about Saw X and we'll be talking about Welcome to Derry. So just to kick it off with A Quiet Place Day 1. Joseph Quinn is negotiating a leading role apparently for A Quiet Place Day 1. So they'd be starring alongside Lupita Nyong'o who was also expected to appear in the upcoming spinoff movie set in the same universe of the two A Quiet Place movies that exist already regarding the Abbott family that we know was helmed by John Krasinski, starring him and his wife, Emily Blunt, and their kids. Now, if the name doesn't ring a bell, then the images on screen obviously should help because yes, this is Eddie, the fan favorite Stranger Things 4. Season four character that we met earlier this summer in that, in that great season from Stranger Things. No plot details are known, but again, going off the title, it should be more than safe to assume that the film will be set on day one of these creatures. Invasion to Earth that we saw play out at the start of a quiet place too but that again was focused on the adam on the abbott family mostly but now we're going to shift away from the abbots so the hope from the studio apparently according to deadline is that this film can play a part in helping them establish a universe of movies to explore so i've touched on that already how i would not have mind if this somehow becomes our big screen universe movies that are kind of in the same vein of what the walking dead is to tv it's just a matter of, okay, are you going to know when to quit when you should quit? Or are you just going to keep on cranking them out? Will we end up in a situation where this is like the Saw franchise? I hope not, because I really do not think you need to go on even as long as The Walking Dead did. While I think that's a great show in its own right, so, you know, certain things you don't have to keep going and going and going and going and going just because you can. So we'll see how that goes. But and we'll also see if Joseph can make it out of this project alive. And yes, that is a joke about Eddie's death and Stranger Things. I'm definitely more excited currently for Lupita's involvement, but we'll see how he contributes to the overall plot. Just to touch on Scream 6, this again update that's basically a cliffhanger, shorter version of my video from earlier. If you missed that or just want a Cliff Notes version. So viewer Anon has had contact with two new sources that have let it be known that the Scream 6 trailer is ready. That's one thing. Viewer Anon has seen it. That's another thing. Uh, Gail has a phone call with the killer during this trailer, I guess, because he made that known on his Twitter account. She seems to have a snarky comment about this being the 10th person to try this, which again is very in line with what you would expect from Gail Weathers. Finally getting a phone call and talking to Ghostface, actually. Now, the title for the movie according to viewer non is expected to be screen vi which is just roman numerals for screen six but i feel like it's going to be carved out in the m shape that is also what my hope is i said that in my video earlier and kirby is now an fbi agent now some people hearing that if this is your first time hearing that kirby's role seems seems shocking and random to some but remember we haven't seen her in years and with the missing context plus the fact that she was left for dead for now that's why it seems random it can easily be explained with a scene of her confessing why she joined and maybe Dewey played a part in her career path who knows I'm just hopeful it's tied to her using her trauma to stand up and help others I do think it is somewhat necessary to kind of explain why she joined the FBI and not let it just randomly play out although if it randomly plays out and it's something that's still giving her a well-written arc and something to at least do make her important to the story most so than her more so than her involvement in screen four then I will still give it a pass the only the only knock I would give it is the fact that it again you made it seem too random you, did, you didn't give enough context to why she's even in a role like this after the last time we saw her she was laying in a pool of blood but i have trust that they are going to utilize this character quite well and i have trust and more confidence in the fact that i think she now will make it out of the movie alive and that they are somehow using this fbi role to bring her back for a potential sequel if that is the route they choose to take. It's an easy end if Hayden wants to do it. Obviously an easy way to keep the character back involved since that's kind of tied in with law enforcement. So just to jump into Welcome to Dairy, HBO Max head of original Sarah Aubrey made these comments recently to Variety regarding Welcome to Dairy to let us know what to expect. She said that we have been working with Jason Fuchs, Brad Caleb Kane, Andy Muschietti and Barbara Muschietti very close, closely, she told Variety. They're so deep into this mythology and they have such a firm handle on the storytelling around these characters and also the demented scares they're putting into, into things. Sometimes I'm like, what's wrong with you? Just all the wild ways they think up to terrify us. You'll be hearing more concretely about that development very soon. She also noted Muschietti is very involved in every bit of this, so hopefully this leads to a great show because those are wonderful comments to hear from her. 
Now, again, I touched on her comments in another video separately about this show altogether, where it seems like this is a priority for them, which gives me a very confident feeling about what they want to do with this show and how this something they seem to want to actually be great and something that can hopefully stick around for a while maybe three seasons max and of course hopefully bill skarsgård is here for the fun by returning as pennywise and remember this series is expected to begin in the 60s while leading up to the events of it chapter one and it chapter two no specific no specific plot details have been revealed just yet but that is what is expected because variety reported earlier in the year that this show is most likely going to be taking place in the 60s leading up to the events of it chapter one and it chapter two now my hope is that they will shed some light on some of those earlier events that they touched on in it chapter one when they were young and maybe we'll see that play out in the 60s in this prequel welcome to dairy so we'll see what happens and what they have to offer us i'm still predicting that this show will air sometime in 2024 if they really are trying to craft the best thing possible i don't see it happening in 2023 i see it happening in 2024 that's just me you might have a different opinion on it i know that many of you myself included would want to see this sooner rather than later because you might be starving for some pennywise content but just to kick off or end this video wrap it up with saw x we got our first look at tobin bell on the set of saw x here he is in this image here now the young individual you see here i've seen some people already speculate that this could be the character from spiral like a young a young william who we know uh, spoilers ahead for uh spiral william ended up being the one behind what he behind the jigsaw copycat activities in spiral from the book of saw so i've seen people speculate that could this kid be a young william interacting with tobin bell's jigsaw now the other thing i've had some people mention is that of course obviously tobin bell doesn't look that youthful i don't think they're going to leave him looking like this they might try to use the aging or they might just have us suspend our disbelief which might be more difficult than others since obviously tobin bell's up there in age keep in mind this movie is expected to be a prequel set in between one and two so that's where they might lose some people given tobin bell's obvious aging so this was your first look at Tobin Bell on the set of Saw X. Filming has begun. There are some other behind the scenes images of them filming that are out there. I just wanted to share this one because I felt like it would be the one that you guys would enjoy the most. If you want to get a good first look at filming, obviously the, for the picture you would want to see if it's available would be this, a look at Jigsaw. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Which of this news had you the most excited? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links on the social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video